Do you have a toxic person in your life? Well, let's find out today. Hi, my love bags. Bags? <laughs> Hi my love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all had a great weekend so far. Although it's not a weekend is it when it's, you know, it's Friday. So I hope you had a great week so far and I'm looking forward to the weekend. See, good save, good save Ruby. Wanted to talk about this topic because we talk a lot about like positivity and surrounding yourself with great people, surrounding yourself with people who have lovely energy, but we don't talk about people who are essentially a threat to our positivity and our happiness. There are certain people who do not serve our mental or emotional well-being. Recent research from the Friedrich Schiller University in Germany showed just how serious the damage toxic people can do in our lives. They found that exposure to stimuli that cause strong negative negative emotions, the same kind of stimuli you get when you're dealing with toxic people, caused their subjects to have a massive stress response. The truth is that toxic people drive your brain into a stressed out state that should be avoided at all costs. So how do you recognise whether you have a toxic person in your life? Well toxic people are everywhere. We might in fact know a few, we might work with them, we might live with them, we might be friends with them, we might be in a relationship with them. If you've spent enough time with a toxic person, you you will already know how destructive they can be. Unfortunately, toxic people don't come with a warning label on their head, but here are some signs which will tell you that you have a toxic person in your life. Number one the gossip monger. Now a healthy amount of gossiping isn't bad, I myself love a good gossip. In fact, research has found that gossiping can contribute to calming the body and increase cooperation by spreading information. But there are genuinely certain people who live off gossiping. Talking about other people gives them pleasure and it gives them life. It could just be that they thrive off other people's misfortune in some way. It may be interesting to peer into someone else's personal or professional gossip for a short while, but over time it just gets tiring, it makes you feel gross and it hurts other people. If you have someone in your life who is a gossip monger, someone who gossips with you all the time whenever you get together, the odds are that they're probably prying into your personal life, getting as much information about you and gossiping about you too and you don't need that. Number two, the emotional moocher or the pessimist. This kind of person is normally called the spiritual vampire because they tend to literally suck out the positivity in you and bleed you emotionally dry. There will be some people in your life who will always have something sad, pessimistic, or negative to say. In both conversations and relationships, they're just not able to see the positive in those situations and they always bring people down with them. If you have someone like this in your life who always has something bad to say, brace yourself because it's probably not going to get any better. Number three, the conversation narcissist. How many of you have had friends who, when you met up with them, only ever spoke about themselves? They didn't even let you get one sentence in about yourself before they start talking about their emotions, their personal life, their career, their family, their drama, once again. Researcher Athena Ponce describes these as people who talk a lot about themselves but don't show equal genuine interest in hearing about you and yourself. This could be the friend who constantly asks for advice but never asks you about how your life is going. It could be the showboat who gets so much thrill out of constantly talking about his adventures and all of his wonderful wonderful commodities or a well-meaning acquaintance who can't seem to get a conversation about anything other than her own therapist. Whichever subtype you come across please avoid them and don't feel bad about it. Number four the picture perfect. This kind of person will never let you see them as anything less than perfect. These kind of people need their life to always look polished. They always need to look polished and their life needs to look like it's some sort of glamorous Instagram lifestyle page. Even if their personality and actual life doesn't live up to this image, they will never let you see that. Spending time with these people and going out with these people also means that when you're with them, you're literally doing a performance for the rest of social media and the rest of the world. They will wear their most glamorous outfit and make you take lots and lots of photos of them. They will go to the most expensive restaurant and make sure that all of this is on Instagram before the first course even arrives. And if the course is disgusting, they will never share that with any of their followers. So even if you end up having a horrible day out with them, the world would never know. All the world will see is their picture perfect Instagram stories. If you have someone like this in your life, the high chance is that you probably don't know who they truly are. They will always have a wall up and they will pretend to be okay even when they're not. And they will never be vulnerable with you. And if that's the case, then it doesn't make sense for you to be vulnerable to. Number five, 
the green-eyed monster. You will have true friends in your life who want the best for you and who want you to achieve everything that you've wanted. But if you have someone in your life who minimizes your strengths and achievements to make themselves feel better, then you don't need them in your life. Envious people such as these will always be jealous of other people doing better than them to such an extent that even if something good happens in their life, they won't achieve any sort of satisfaction from it. They don't derive any satisfaction from it because they measure their achievements and their happiness against the world when really they should derive their satisfaction from within. Envious people often feel like they need to do things to prove something to the world. Their achievements are always a way of showing the world and showing others that they're also worthy. They think that they have something to prove to others rather than themselves and if you spend enough time with them they will also make you feel the same way about your achievements and your strengths. Spending too much time with envious people is going to be so detrimental to your happiness because they will teach you to trivialize your achievements and trivialize your worth and that's something that you don't need. That is all for today. There are so many other toxic traits that people have which I will discuss at a later date but for now I wanted to cover these five because I have come across one type of every one of these five people and um, I have slowly over the years distanced myself from people such as these but I wanted you all to know what envious people look like, what toxic people look like, what gossip mongers look like so that you can make that decision for yourself whether you want such a person in your life. Remember these people are not just friends, they could be acquaintances, they could be people you work with, they could be your own family members, it could be your relationship. Whatever it is, learn to recognize these toxic traits and you know, do what you need to do to make yourself happier and make yourself in a more comfortable place in life. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you got something useful out of it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. Please share. And I will be back next week with another amazing and incredibly informative video for you all. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you all next week. They didn't even... Oh.